one, two. <laughs> hey. Why does one give a speech? Most speakers give a speech to connect with their audience. They try to inform, persuade, and many other different ways to connect with them. There is definitely a lot more to public speaking than one might think, but it isn't exactly easy. I used to think that public speaking was so hard, but when you break it down, it can be simpler than you think. I also know why others are absolutely terrified of speaking in front of audiences. This is why I'm going to stress what I think is one of the most important things to consider, which is your audience. The 15th edition of the Challenge of Effective Speaking talks a lot about audience adaptation. This is the process of making your information fit to what interests, needs, and expectations of your listeners. This really affects what topic you choose to talk about. You aren't going to pick something the audience considers offensive or morally wrong. You are going to form your topic around your audience. For example, you wouldn't want to talk about a Medicare plan to a group of high school students. You would want the students to be interested, so maybe you would choose the topic of scholarships instead. You would want them to think the topic is important to them, so they are interested before you even stop speaking. Audience members are looking for something that will be useful to them in the near future. People will want to watch this speech if they want to learn more about audience adaptation. Therefore, they would hopefully be interested. Another reason you consider your audience is to understand what knowledge they already have about the topic. You want to know some of the thoughts and opinions of audience members that they may form for even listening to you speak. This is why you need to understand how much they know by establishing common ground. If most of the students already know a lot about whatever you are speaking of, then maybe you would just have to give a brief summary before you get into the specific material. And if your audience is fairly new to the topic, you should probably just start out with the basics to get them started. The challenge of effective speaking says you can easily establish common ground by using personal pronouns such as we, us, and our. It makes the audience feel more makes the audience feel a more personal connection with the speaker. Another way to establish common ground is to share personal experiences. This makes the speaker appear more reliable. A personal experience can also stimulate understanding in the audience. Understanding what the audience already knows helps you become a better speaker. My third reason I believe considering the audience is important is understanding how different learning styles might be and how fast they process the information. Some people are visual learners, auditory learning, learners, or interactive learners. Visual learners learn by seeing graphs or a PowerPoint of information. Auditory learners learn just by listening, and interactive learners learn by hands-on experience. In an ideal situation, you would want to appeal to as many learning styles as possible. That way, many people will be able to understand and remember most of your speech. My fourth and final reason knowing the audience is important is so that you can choose information they can understand. You want them to understand what is being said. Therefore, you should use language familiar to them to narrow the meaning. If someone says, I had a bad day, that could have so many different meanings. Now, if they said, I had a bad day because I tripped and hurt my arm walking up the steps in school this morning, it creates a more vivid picture in the mind of the audience. Therefore, it is easier to follow. If there is something they cannot understand easily, you can compare it to something well known. For example, it may take us North Dakotans a long time to get to a mall because we would have to drive over 100 miles to get there. But we can compare the distance we have to drive to congestion of cities that may cause drivers to take one hour to go 20 miles. That would clarify to city people what it is like to want to shop in rural, rural North Dakota. So let's go through my points considering the audience is important. Number one. Picking a topic relevant to your audience. Number two, understanding what they already know about your topic. Number three, 
understanding their learning styles, and number four, choosing language they can understand. If you can adapt these tips into your speech, your audience would appreciate it and you may become a more efficient speaker.